Hello guys, uh, welcome to the course of PCPIP. Today we are going to discuss about the MPLS LDP messages. So before this video, what we have discussed about the LDP, this label distribution protocol, and they're working. Now it's time to discuss about the messages. In the messages, specifically the hello and the session established message are very important. So let's start the one by one. Now, first of all, talking about the LDP messages. So what we have, the, here there are four main categories of the LDP messages. The very first is what the peer discovery message. It is also called as a hello message. This LDP hello message are used to advertise and maintain presence of an LSR in network. So label switching routers are available. So in order to have a, show the existence of their routers, that is LSR, they have to use, they have to use the hello message to their neighbors. So for that purpose, this hello packets are going to be used. The LSR with the highest ID, that is highest IP address, become active and establish the TCP connection for the LDP on port number 646. So here there is also concept like a BGP that the active and passive, where the uh, designated router kind of things, where the whose ID is highest will become the one who can initiate the process. The LSR with the lowest IP address become the passive and wait for the establishment of the TCP connection for the LDP session. So here, this is what the first message. So we can see in order to uh, ping, in, in order to discover the neighbors, what we have the hello. Second is what the session management uh, messages. This, this message is established, maintain and terminate the session between LDP peers. So whatever the neighbor has been, neighborship has been found. In between that, the connection is going to be established in this particular message with the help of this message. LDP session established allows negotiation of option over the TCP session established the port number on the port number 646. So after hello message, the session is going to be established. There is a third message that is what the advertisement or label distribution message. This message create, change and delete labels mapping for the forwarding equivalence classes that is FECs. This message deal with the label binding advertisement, request, withdrawal, and the release. So after the session has been established, the labels are to be distributed. So labels are distributed on the basis of this particular label distribution messages with help of. Ultimately, the LDP protocol is available for that purpose. But LDP use the kind of message of what label distribution message. Then fourth message is what the notification message. This provide the reporting information and signal error information and cause the course. So what if any uh, errors occur for that purpose, uh, it is going that reporting mechanism is going to be handled by the notification message. So here, these are the four main messages of the LDP. Out of this, what we are discussing in this video, hello and the session establishment. So let's start with the LDP hello. LDP is a protocol that automatically generate and extend the label between routers. This is what we have discussed in earlier video also. That LDP is a protocol that automatically generates and extends the labels between the routers based upon the logic and the way how the messages. Each router will locally generate the label and what the label, label is what the one uh, value on the basis of that the forwarding can be take place for uh, its prefix and will then advertise the labels value to its neighbors. So if let's say consider there is a router R1 and there is a router R2. In order to send the labels, first of all, they need to establish the connection. But before establishing the connection, they need to they need to have the existence to be discovered. That is what the neighborship relationship to be discovered, and that relationship can be uh, discovered by the hello packets. Okay, then only the label value can be uh, exchanged. It is a standard based on the Cisco proprietary that is TDP, that is Tag Distribution Protocol. Now, what the Cisco mechanism initially it was the TDP and uh, Tag Distribution Protocol, but now the TDP is uh, functionality is admin uh, incorporated by the LDP. So it is similar with that particular concept. Every every protocols are similar with the TDP. Nowadays, almost everyone uses the LDP instead of TDP. Like many other protocols, LDP first establishes a neighbor neighborhood adjacency before it exchanges the label information. So before exchanging the label information, they need to establish the uh, what we can say the neighborhood uh, neighborhood adjacency or relationship first of all. It works a bit different than the most protocols. However, here first we send UDP multicast hello packet. First we need to send the Unica, uh, UDP multicast hello packet to discover the neighbors or to discover other neighbors. Once two router decided to become the neighbor, 
they built a neighbor adjacency using tcp connection so what is the first what we have to do we have to we have to use the udp multicast hello packet first of all to discover the neighbor when the neighbor discovered and they both are agree to exchange the labels then only the tcp connection is going to be established then this message is then used for exchange of label information normally the loopback interface is used for neighbor adjacency now after this uh, hello packets are sent the exchanging can be um, after that the establishment can be possible after that the exchanging can be possible for that purpose the loopback interfaces are used so here so here what we have interfaces what we have interface over here the fast ethernet 0/0 and r2 also fast ethernet 0/0 here what we have the ip address stated and here uh, router id is also 1.1.1.1 and the 2.2.2.2 okay these are the ip address set so let's check how 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 this discovers the packet uh, how to discover the neighbor now hello packet hello packets are sent to the multicast address using the 224.0.0.2 using the source destination udp port number 646 each router has a unique id called lsr id that is what label switch router id this is similar how the most protocol select the id by default it will select the highest ip address on the loopback interface so whatever the highest ip address is available on that interface will be selected as a active member if we don't have any loopback address interface then it will it will be use the highest ip address on the physical interface so if there is no any loopback address set then the physical address will be set let's say physical address is this So then, highest IP address is available with that physical interface. That will be selected as active. Then, at the bottom, uh, we find the transport address. This is what we use the build uh, build the actual TCP connection. Like the LSR ID, the router select the IP address on the loopback interface as the transport address. This is different compared to the how routing protocols like OSPF or EIGRP from the neighbor adjacent. For example. when we learn uh, we run the ospf then our router will form a neighborhood relationship or a neighbor adjacency on all the interfaces that run ospf so this is what the function of the ospf where if we run on the one interface every interface is going to be established the neighborhood adjacency but in the ldp ldp will only form a single neighborhood adjacent neighbor neighbor adjacency no matter how many interfaces you have in the between in between your routers so here per interface adjacency to be established but in terms of the ospf if we once we decided uh, when once we configured the inter adjacency uh, neighborhood adjacency for one interface it will be applicable to all but here in ldp only for the single uh, it is going to be happen okay the diagram shows the ospf neighbor adjacency OS, ospf neighbor adjacency so here every interface is to be configured okay but in ldp neighbor relationship only by with the help of only one uh, interface configuration everything is going to be applicable everything going to be uh, activated over here so more about the ldps let's talk about the ldps ldp is the bit similar with the bgp when we use the loopback interface for the neighbor adjacency when we use the bgp we have to use the update source command to select the source whereas let's say ldp does not automatically okay then so once our ldp routers has become the neighbors ldp router become the neighbors how do we exchange the label information that is the question so after activating of the neighbors after discovering the neighbors we have to establish the connection so here what we have with the normal routing we use the routing protocol like eigrp ospf or bgp to learn the prefix from other routers these all are stored in the rib and this is what the rib stand for routing information base okay in our routing table so in a routing table what we have the information routing information based on the basis of this the other process can be handled in this particular protocol but if you talked about let's say ldp the information in rib is used to build the fib that is forwarding information best which is what we use for actual forwarding of ip packets these tables are uh, all used for ip packets but for mpls we use the something else So, if you go with the diagram, this is the control plan, control plane, and the forwarding plane. Here, the protocols like EIGRP, OSPF, and easy, let's say ISIS, we have the RIB routing information base. Then it is passes to the FIB, that is forwarding uh, information base. But if we talked about the LDP, what we have, 
label information base so instead of the routing information base what we have the label information base and then it is going to be passed to what lfib that is what the label forwarding information base and we know guys the mpls and ldp is both work on the labels we don't have the routing tables because the routing table processing is what very time consuming where the ldp is what work on the labels it is what very uh, uh, time saving okay so here we have discussed about the hello so we need in order to discover the neighbors what we have to do we have to use the hello packet then second uh, second type of message is what the uh, session establishing an ldp session okay so let's talk let's consider the diagram here there is a lsr a and there is a lsr b lsr b is a passive and this is what the active only because what we have the highest id over here and here there is a lower id than the first one so that's why we have called as a active and this is what the passive then the step, there are steps two lsrs exchange the hello message after receiving the hello message carrying transport layer address the two lsr that is label switch routers use the transport address to establish the ldp session so this session establishment happens after only after discovery of the uh, adjacencies or let's say neighbor the lsr with the larger transport address served as the active peer and initiate the tcp connection so here this is what the active so he is going to initiate the connection okay then lsr a serve as the active peer in the in, to initiate the tcp connection and lsr b serve as a passive peer that waits for the tcp connection okay so here the active is what this lsr a router a is active so he is going to initiate the connection and then the passive will be waiting for the in a listening mode okay then uh, how it is going to be happen this is going to be happen with the hello packet after tcp connection is successfully established the lsr a send a send an initialization message to negotiate parameters to negotiate parameters used to establish an ldp session with the lsr b the main parameters include the ldp version a version ldp advertisement mode keep alive hold time timers value maximum pdu length and the label space okay so here very first what we are sending the hello packets if both are agree the both are ready to have a adjacency relationship then the tcp connection can be set up and after tcp connection can be set up we have to exchange some value what we have to do we have to exchange some parameters the negotiation parameter on based on what parameters we are going to negotiate so they have they, they send generally adversions labor advertisement mode keep alive time hold uh, hold time value maximum pdu length and label space this is going to be sent once once this task is done what what we have a third step in third step upon uh, receipt of the initialization message lsr b replies the lsr a in either of the following situations so once the initialization happened okay up to this it happened so what is going to happen so then lsr b replies to the lsr a and what saying is let's say if LS, lsr b rejects some parameters it send a notification message to terminate the ldp session to establish so what we have the fourth type of message what the notification if there is a, any uh, uh, error occurs or any un, un what we can say um, the situation occur which is not acceptable by that other party that time the notification message can be sent to terminate the ldp session or the second case if the lsr b accept all the parameters it send the initialization message and keep alive message to the lsr a okay so this is going to be sent keep alive message i am ready and i will be will be the part of that particular uh, initialization process i am ready on, on on the terms and condition then the step number 4 upon the receipt of initialization message the lsr a now the ball is in this a code perform the operation in either of the following situation the very first what what he will do if the lsr a reject some parameters after the receiving the initialization message it send a notification message to terminate the ldp session established so if this is not okay with that parameter it will send the message for the termination but do not with the help of notification message but if it is ready if the lsr a is accept all the parameter it send the keep alive message to the L keep alive uh, keep alive message to the lsr b so it send it sending keep alive message to the lsr b that i am also ready that i am also ready after both lsr a and lsr b have accepted each other keep alive messages the ldp session is successfully established so what we have we have to make the both the parties to be ready to get the establish um, establish the communication for that purpose they have to send the keep alive message we are we are ready to keep alive for the transactions so what we have to do we have to first 
what we have to do we have to first uh, uh, send the hello packets if both the radius then then the establishment can be happen the establishment can be happen on the basis of active and passive keys whose id is larger whose id is lower will be uh, passive and like id larger will be active and there are constant to be sent and what message to be sent that is that is shown in a diagram once the establishment is done then then we need to maintain the ldp session after the ldp session is established and lsr maintained the integrity of the session by sending keep alive messages after every 60 second by default so here by default 60 second is timer is available to maintain the session which is earlier established between the two neighbors then keep alive timer for each peer session reset whenever it received any packet on its session so it is going to be a updating kind of thing whenever any message receive that is going to be reset at the zero and again it is timer is started that's it. if the keep alive timer expires that is 180 second by default the ldp conclude that the tcp connection is bad or the peer is dead okay if both the party let's say party and party if this one say 160 second happens a 160 second uh, collapse or consume that time it is decided that whether this is not ready or maybe it is bad or maybe connection has terminated then an lsr maintain the individual tcp session whole time and keep alive the interval timer for maintaining the ldp session so what we have discussed in this lecture we have discussed about the three things very first what we have discussed the hello packets okay so in order to discover the neighbors what we required the hello packets there is a process after that we need to establish the connection so station establishment we have discussed and once the establishment is uh, done we need to maintain the integrity of that session so that is also we have discussed i hope guys this is okay with you and before this video what we have discussed the ldp the working so please do watch that video after that we'll discuss something else that is message and the session establishment protocols are available that protocol we are going to discuss thank you thank you